What's up everybody, it's Simon from Lake Hub. Today, we're doing a campground review of Buckhorn Creek Park out on beautiful Lake of the Pines in Deep East Texas. Lake of the Pines is a really, really pretty lake. Uh, there's not a lot of tourism. It's a really local lake, but it is just beautiful. It's great for boating. It's great for fishing. It's great for hunting. It's not so much a ski lake, party lake. A uh, lot of families, really great family atmosphere, especially here in the campground. So Buckhorn Creek is part of a family of campgrounds around here on the southern end of the lake, and it's run by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers who built the lake. This park has everything that you'd expect from an Army Corps campground. It has sites with hookups, full RV, pull through, back in, every size of camper that you can dream up. It has plenty of tent, uh, tent sites, and I'm not just talking about like a stake in the ground with a number, I'm talking about improved pads with that are level, square, with base material, uh, not mud, you know, really improved, uh, really great camping uh, facilities here. The restrooms, you don't expect anything fancy from a campground, but these are in the, in, and on the higher end of better condition of pretty much any place I've ever camped. Uh, there's as good as you can dream up for a campground. Hot water, everything works. Um, restrooms are clean, they're heated. Uh, so this time of year, when it's cold in the morning, cold at night, perfect. Now there are 38 tent sites across two sections and there are 57 sites with hookups, partial hookups, across two sections. And by partial hookups, I mean electric and water. Now, the way that they're numbered, uh, so this, every site is numbered with a letter and then three numbers. So there's two sections. Uh, if you go, when you're pulling in, you go straight, you go out to the point, that's where the boat ramps are. That's where the bank goes straight into the water. It's kind of a rocky point. That's section one. If When you pull in, you turn right, you go around the cove and another point. Those are sandy beaches, uh, no boat ramps, that's section two. So each site starts with a letter. It's either T or E. T for tent, E for electric. Electric also has water. Tent, there's water every so often. So maybe five or six or eight sites are going to share one water source so you're you're going out getting your water bring it back to your campsite the e sites have water at your campsite that you can hook up to uh, it has everything but sewer there's a dump station on the way out this is camping and bass fishing heaven out here there are so many bass boats it's unbelievable you can see right behind me uh, there's these there's this whole cove right here is surrounded by sandy beach that is just perfect for pulling up, parking, walking back to your campsite. So section two is a great place to do that, to be able to beach your, beach your boat, go back to camp, head back out, drop somebody off, pick them up, all that kind of stuff. Um, this, this cove, like the back arms, the back arms without a big heavy duty feeder creek or river uh, generally aren't gonna be the best places to fish. Um, but they are a great place to station your boat if that's the kind of if that's the kind of trip that you're in for. Now, section one has a rocky point, and it's steeper, much better fishing structure, a lot uh, more kind of scenic terrain. You're out on the main part of the lake rather than a back arm. But uh, one, you get a little more weather on that side, so section two is going to be sheltered by the wind. Section one, you're going to be a little bit more open to the wind, but you have two boat ramps right there at your, at your access. Each kind of main area has its own bathhouse. Um, the way that they're styled is uh, they're individual. So um, the one closest to us, for example, has four restroom slash shower spots. So, you know, there can be a little bit of a traffic jam end of the day when everybody's showering up going back to camp, light their campfire and so on. Um, be wary of that, but uh, otherwise I really like that layout because it's not like a, 
like a common shower area, common restroom area. Um, they're they're kind of ported, you know. So there's there's smaller bathhouse bathroom situations around camp. As far as camping on the lake, I like this campground more than some of the other ones that I've seen on Lake of the Pines. Um, that's not to say that they're they're not great as well. I mean, they're they're about they're run by the same outfit, Army Corps. Um, if you stay at an Army Corps campsite, they do a great job. This site is really up to par as far as uh, camping on Lake of the Pines. So far, from what I've seen, this is one of the better campsites um, with just the lay of the land, the options, the different types of sites that you have, the kind of tone and culture, um, which is perfect for families. That's our style. There's no partying. There's no loud music. Everything is just quiet, chill. You can hear the, you can hear the, the birds chirping and you know the wind through the pines and it is just fantastic if you want to get out and have a really just beautiful awesome serene camping experience in east texas some beautiful scenery lots of islands uh, lots of like coves and just places to see on the lake especially if you're a boater this is a great campground to visit if you're in it for the party scene well, this lake isn't even the lake for you in the first place. And this is definitely is not the campground for you. If you like it low key, if you've got younger kids, even teenagers, then this is a great place to visit. That is my official review of Buckhorn Creek on Lake of the Pines in Deep East Texas. I'm Simon from Lake Up. Get out there and have some fun, y'all.